this is architecture and beyond. In the early 1700s, a physician and naturalist named Sir Hans Lowe wanted his collection of more than 71,000 objects of all kinds to be preserved after he dies. So he sold his belongings to King George II for the sum of 20,000 pounds. This collection was composed of 40,000 books, 7,000 manuscripts, specimens, dried plants, prints, and drawings. The museum was first housed in the Montague House in Lundbury, which was opened to public in 1759. More about the British Museum from our correspondent, Rosa Mancourt. Rosa? Thank you, Longhouse. As the natural history collections and the library expanded, Montague House was rapidly outgrown. In 1823, the gift to the nation by George IV of his father's library led to the construction of today's quadrangular building designed by Sir Robert Smirk. The first phase was completed in 1852. Construction of the round reading room followed designed by Robert's brother Sidney and positioned at the central courtyard in 1857. Visitor numbers increased greatly during the 19th century. The museum attracted great crowds of all ages and social classes, particularly on public holidays, as academic work continued with the publication of the museum's series of detailed catalogs. Many curators took an interest in broadening the museum's appeal through lectures and improving the displays. The first popular synopsis to the collections was published in 1808 and ran to over 60 editions before splitting into more detailed illustrated guidebooks by the end of the century. Back to you, Long J. Longas. Thank you, Rosa. The museum celebrated its 250th anniversary in 2003, coinciding with the launch of a new permanent exhibition called Enlightenment, Discovering the World in the 18th Century. On to our next feature, the Palace of Westminster or the House of Parliament in London or the House of Lords and House of Commons meet. It was established in the 11th century and first occupied by Edward the Confessor. More of this from Jessica Babo. Jessica. Next long day, the palace was also once used as a law court which included the famous trial of William Wallace. Freedom! almost completely burnt down on October 16, 1834, which included everything except Westminster Hall, the crypt of St. Stephen's Chapel, and the Jewel Tower. The Houses of Parliament, as we know them today, were rebuilt after the fire. The process, which incorporated Westminster Hall and the remains of St. Stephen's Chapel, took just over 30 years. The rebuilding was completely finished by 1870. Architect Charles Barry won an open competition for a new design of this Gothic vision. Barry was assisted by Augustus Welby Puggin, especially in the details, fittings, and furniture. Back to you, Long Day. Thank you, Jessica. That's all for architecture and beyond. In behalf of our producers, Andrew Valdez and Ina Fumigad, thank you for watching.